Welcome back to another online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, I want to introduce you to my latest book, Chart Topping Drum Beats, the 60s through today. This book has over 190 examples of drum beats from chart topping songs, the 60s through today as well as over 350 coordination exercises. This isn't just a book of random drum beats. It starts from beginner all the way through advanced, and it's organized into specific techniques. Not only will you have coordination exercises for specific techniques, but you'll have hundreds of examples of how that technique has been used in chart-topping songs. I'm really excited about this book. I hope you enjoy it. It's been a couple years in the making. Uh, a lot of listening to songs and charting techniques. Uh, a lot of research went into it. So I hope you enjoy so uh, download page 47, and this is a, an example or a sample page from the book. You can get that at OnlineDrummer.com. This is from Lesson 4, and what Lesson 4 deals with is 16th phrasing on the bass drum. That's when you have your bass drum in between the hi-hat strokes. One, eight, and the two. So in other words, your bass drum doesn't only fall in line with the eighth notes being played on the hi-hat, but it can also go in between it. On this specific page, uh, I wanted to find songs that have that 16th uh, bass phrasing, but also pull from the technique that uh, we covered in Lesson 3, which was snare movement. In Lesson 3, we start adding snare strokes in addition to the, the usual 2 and 4 on the snare. So this is a way to blend those two techniques, and you can see the progression. The more than a feeling, I'll play that one for you. Now the counting, one and two and three and four and one and the two and three and the four and, and it repeats. So watch that second measure of the snare on two, three, and four. Take a look at the next example, Bittersweet Symphony. I'll play this one. So here, uh, an additional snare is added before the four, and then in the second measure, before and after the four. It's kind of neat. I'll count it and play it slowly. One and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and. The next example, Ramble On by Led Zeppelin. This is a cool one. It can be tough because you've got a lot of syncopation on that bass drum. I'll play it. Now I'll count it and play it slowly. One and a two and three e and a four e and a one and a two and a three and a four and. And finally, 3 a.m. by Matchbox 20. And in uh, previous lessons, we worked on four measure repeating grooves. These can be a little more interesting, but harder to play because there's more to remember. She said it's cold outside, and she hands me my raincoat. She's always worried about things like that. Now I'll count it and play it slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and the two and three and four and one and the two and three four and So I hope you enjoyed this sample of my new book, Chart Topping Drum Beats, the 60s through today. If you want more samples, you can check out the link below. I include uh, some other pages, including a coordination um, building exercise. We'll see you next week. Keep drumming.